What's going on dudes, it is Colossalos here, welcome back to some more Heroes of the Storm. Today we are taking a look, oh, another look, at Anubarak. Uh, we already take, took, a took a look at the build, which was kind of a tank build, you know, th kind of theory crafted by me and, and, and Perp back on the stream about uh, two weeks ago, or was that a week? Oh no, about a week ago. About a week ago! <laughs> uh, but um, today we will be taking a look at another kind of... Um, Build. I really like where they're going with Anubarak. They're trying to make him an anti-mage character, and honestly, this build is kind of anti-mage in itself without actually picking any anti-mage talents. What I mean by that, for example, let's say Li Ming. And Li Ming, uh, her arcane orb uh, basically stops at the first target and uh, target. And when Anubarak spawns a beetle, you know, with an ability, you know, periodically or in any other way, it's going to soak up the shot. Same as for the for the uh, for the um, magic missiles, uh, but Kelthas on the other hand, um, if he wants to deal um, deal with the uh, with the scar ups, he has to use you know, his flame strike or his living bomb. Actually, using his mana. If not, they will be dealing some uncontested uh, damage right to his mouth. So, either way, uh, Anubarak proves to be anti mage, and today we will be taking a look at the beetle build. So, let's go. For the frozen throne. Hi, right, Li Meng. Turn off your microwave so your computer can load. There we go. All right, boys and girls, we find ourselves on the Garden of Terror map. Level one, we will be, we will be picking up assault scarabs. Uh, this is going to increase the damage of our trait spawn scarabs by thirty percent. Uh, so yeah, so that's basically what our trait is. We spawn a scout up um, by, uh, by using any of our abilities, and this lasts for eight seconds, and will deal quite some damage. Twenty damage uh, by attacking the you know the enemies, and then we also in increase that by thirty percent. So what? That's like twenty six damage. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, assault scout ups used to only give you twenty. 5% of the so they buffed it by 5% also increasing the the leeching scarab's power and, and every other kind of ta kind of talent you know along 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 the way on our Q ability we have a very very long traveling skill shot as no long but a kind of slow traveling skill shot that throws people in the air deals some damage and then stuns them our w ability is a shield on an 8 second cooldown sorry 7 second cooldown just going to give us some static shields over 3 seconds and then we, and then our e ability we have a burrow charge We have a burrow charge, which which lets us either engage or disengage, kind of burrow, kind of burrow underground, like that, to escape or you know engage. Um, what what this is going to do upon emerging, if there are any enemies caught in that uh, in that you know in that little uh, circle, not circle, but um, yeah, in that like emergent circle, they will be taking some damage and they will be again thrown up and stunned for for that a little short duration, just the same duration as as, as our Q, I do believe. Um, uh, don't quote me on that though. Uh, this is going to stun for one second. This is going to stun for. This is actually not supposed to. St it, no, it doesn't say it stuns anybody. This this traitress just keeps walking into my ship. I'll be I'll be, we'll be able to lane against her no problem. She will be able to deal, deal some damage to me, but I will be able to just uh, to lane against her no problem. Just gonna try, try to predict, predict where she's going, and I'll be able will be successful in doing so again. So this build is, is going to revolve. Is that was that a Zerto? I, was, I kind of think that was a hurt. Anyway, so th what, is, what this um, build is going to revolve is around our scar around our uh, trade scar ups. Basically, we will be, we, will, we want to spawn as much of the, as much as we possibly can, plus uh, give them some utility towards our build itself. I'm gonna come in here and try to clear up this um, these guys right here. Give our team a little bit of um, of an objective advantage, if you uh, like, if you if that's what you want to call it. I actually like I actually like the teams. The teams seem, seem pretty balanced. So we have a little bit more control with Double Warrior, Anubarak, Sonya, Thrall, Tyrande, Tracer. Plenty of damage, especially with the with the Tyrande um, Hunter's Mark. On level four, we're gonna go for Legion of Beetles. This is going to periodically allow beetles to just spawn every so many seconds. I don't know how many seconds. Every I'm gonna come in here. Uh, how many seconds? Every eight seconds. So every uh, basically, whenever our spawn beetle dies, we spawn another guy because it's like eight seconds. Uh. There's a stun on the enemy Rhaegar, along just uh, along some more damage 
to the um, to the enemy team. I'm just, just gonna wait until the the, the good um, like a good moment, and I'm gonna just disengage right here using my shield again. Uh, kind of maybe we're gonna let yes, there's a nice nice triple stun on the enemy team, allowing us to um, to also secure a living or a friendly uh, friendly throw. One downside, downside of this build is that you get your survivability out level seven. Um, so you you basically have to kind of like um, you have to depend on your healers up until level seven. Just because on level seven you get your leeching scout ups, which um, allow uh, which like then it returns a little bit of damage you know, that your scout ups deal um, as uh, you know uh, as health back to you. So we, we can't just uh, just kind of come in here. Okay, we, we have to bail. We have to bail. They're uh, we are, they're outnumbering us. I'm gonna try to stun them right in place, but they will be able to pick up a kill on the friendly tracer. And I'm gonna try to come in here. Oh my god! Uh, it just exploded when I when I was just emerging from the ground. That was so unfortunate. I dodged it too, like, because I knew she's she's gonna stick it right to right to my ass. Dying there wasn't a good idea. We should just bail. The whole the whole the whole friend of the team wasn't there. Our Tannis wants to just so siege up bottom. I mean, she's got, she's gonna get some XP, but. I'm gonna try to push this back a little bit with my scatter right here, uh, which will be able to deal some damage. We have to get level seven ASAP, just because um, first of all the enemy team is on level seven advantage, and we do still do not have our um, our uh, sustain. There we go. There's level seven leeching scatters. Uh, basically, fifty percent is going to be returned. Fifty percent of the damage we deal with their scatters is going to be returned to us as health. We are on our way to the top lane. We are fighting for some reason. And we should not be because it's a 4v5. Actually, if it's a 4v2 because I'm still not there. Uh, here, here comes my stun. Uh, the a friendly throw goes down. I do pick up a kill on the enemy tracer. Looks like she was out of her escapes. Oh my god. So you saw there, the, the enemy Li Ming uh, wanted to... Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? There you go. That's body blocks. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna scare kill on the near Tannis. Now we should definitely be going for this as the enemy team is trying to get as many seats as possible. Tyrandus is just gonna, just gonna kind of tank this shit. Um, but we're gonna take it right off. Uh, Tracer gets stunned. You're stun on the enemy tracer, very nice stun on the enemy Li Ming. I'm gonna try to get out of that. There we go. We just, we just have to get as many seats as we possibly can. We don't really care about the kills right here. Uh, at, least, at least we should not be caring about the kills. Just a stun on the enemy Zeratul. Looks like he's actually very, very uh, low on mana. Our friend tracer is gonna make it out of there alive. And overall, a nice pickup right here for the friendly team. We should definitely spl split into lanes. So I'm gonna try, try right here. Just stun, allowing me to get in front of him and deal some damage, and we'll be able to pick up a kill. Not a problem. Okay, I, I'm just bailing out of here. I, I need to be here, and I'm just gonna go probably bottom. I'm gonna make um, let my team know that I'm on my way bottom to soak some XP. Honestly, he's one of the one of the better um, tanks to actually to lane, just because he you know he can spawn this, his little dudes, especially with this build. With this build, I mean, with the other build, he he can also do some some other some interesting stuff, you know, with uh, like locust needles. And there has been, you know, a new build which I'm actually super excited about. You know, kind of like like a more of a competitive build, if you know what I mean. Going for dump and magic, and I don't remember the talent level four. Ah, what was the talent? Underking, yeah, he, they go for underking the range on damage on on his E. Weird, weird, but what can you do, right? I mean, so, uh, some 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 of these builds do seem. Oh my god, that was just a miss. That was just a really bad cue. You guys did not see that. On level ten, we're gonna go for. Uh, we're gonna go for Locust Needles. Just because um, we need some sustain, Tyrande looks like. I, I think Tyrande will not be able to kind of like sustain 
the whole friendly team, you know, and I just kind of want to make her job a little bit easier. She's gonna come in here and siege this. Nobody's going to contest that at all. It looks like we are getting kills down in the top, in the top, down in the top, um, in the middle lane. Actually, that's what, what I was meant to say. And you can see with the amount of scatter, look at this. We have three at the same time, and this guy just comes in. But I don't really give a shit. I'm just gonna activate my shields. And look, this push is just so huge. Um, it's almost as big as my D. <laughs> oh, that was bad. That was a bad joke, man. All right, we should just back it up. Looks like they will be able to get this uh, right now. Uh, and I'm just gonna back it up for mana. <clears throat> Not a big deal. So you saw there, we were able to sustain quite nicely through the damage we took from the sh from the you know from the both. Um, both the, the structures and the enemy minions, just with our scarabs. It was super good. It's super good. Uh, by the way, what locust need is, uh, what locust swarm? Uh, let's, let me just speak a little slower right here. Uh, what it's gonna do for you? It is going to uh, deal a, li a little damage in the, in the area to every single enemy and return, uh, some health. It's actually not a percentage, it's not a percentage, but you know, it's, it's like a, some static number per enemy hit. Again, my cues are not on point today, guys. I'm sorry about that. I'm not, I'm not sure what's happening. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, it's going to do do like a very small AOE. Actually, it's a pretty, it's a pretty huge AOE. I'm, I'm sorry about that. So it's going to hit, hit, hit everybody in the AOE, uh, in this AOE around this. There's the men coming. Just gonna soak it. Don't mind me. Nice bomb there, bitch. Suck it, dude. I'm on my way right here. Uh, I'm gonna pop my ultimate right here. She, she's gonna be start taking damage, and I will be healing for fucking days. You can see. You can see how how much how much damage she was taking. I'm gonna try to stun him in place, activate my shields just so I don't die from the Q, and I'll be fine. We actually killed the tracer! We killed Tracer. Sonya it looks like she did pick up a kill on the very low tracer just because she used her um her her rewind already. I do wanna try better barbs, therefore we're gonna go for that. What it's gonna do when we when we hit our Q, it is going to I try to get in front of him. Try to body block. There we go. Very nice body blocks. Oh, there's a stun on the enemy. Artanis. Get in front of him. Get in front of him. Yeah, that was good. Super good. Super, super good. Awesome. Uh, now we should just make the way to our friend. I'm actually going to go back it up because uh, no one wants to grab that for some reason. We're going to lose that. We're gonna lose that shit. Oh, actually, no, we picked it up, so it's fine. I'm doing actually. I'm. I, I just killed her, Sonya. He's gonna blink. He's gonna blink. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. That was very good. Oh, she she just used her recall too. Yeah, that was good. That was, that was just a good hunter mark. Good hunter's mark overall. Secure and kill. On my way to defend against this Gardener Terror. Looks like it was just pushing top and contested just because we were focusing on our objective. Again, using my W, kind of like W used to be like before the buffs. If you guys didn't know, like he just went over a rework. Before the buffs, um, he, like his W was just there to spawn scarabs. That's all it did. It's because, you know, the shield was so small. Oh my god, look at this push right on right at this moment. I'm gonna just actually stay here for five more seconds um, to actually to activate my Q. Uh, what it's gonna do, actually, I picked up the battle barbs. It is going to slow enemies after I, I threw it, and also for three seconds, I think, it's going to um, deal damage in that area. I'm gonna just come back right back. Uh, we should be backing up. We should not be fighting. I'm not there. It is my fault, but I'm just clearing this lane, guys. I'm clearing the lane. It was a huge push. Um, the enemy tracer doing some work. Oh, that was an easy kill. That was an easy kill right there. Uh, I do not have. Uh, I'm gonna try to get in front of him, but it looks like he won't be able to. There's the enemy void prison. Is actually not gonna do achieve it. Not gonna achieve anything just because we already picked up a kill on the enemy Artanis. 
And I'm just gonna use my better barbs here just to do some damage, A some AoE. You can see that's actually a pretty disgusting AoE damage if you guys if you guys ask me. I need to go back from on this range, we're gonna go for Beetle Juice. Every third attack on enemy, any enemy hero is going to just uh, deal some damage. Uh, it's not gonna deal some damage. It is going to spawn a scar up. This Sonya's dead, and I actually just died with her, just because I was overextending way too much. Not a good engage at all. It was 3v2. Uh, it was just my fault. I, I was kind of like focused on explaining the, the town to you guys. And so for some reason my brain just said, yeah, that's a good the good engagement. Go in with your E. <laughs> and that's what I did. Anyway, what Beetlejuice is going to do, every third attack on the enemy hero will spawn under Scarab. This used to do something else. This used to like, I think, like let the Scarabs level up. So if they killed some someone, they would get stronger. But it was so rare that they actually kill kill anybody. It's just weird. But uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's actually very very good now. Uh, every every third attack on the enemy hero, not you know not the same hero. Uh, you, you you don't have to attack you know hero uh, three times in a row. Just you know attacking a hero um, any hero three you know one. So you can I can attack Rhaegar one time or times one time, and then uh, Rhaegar again, and I will be able to get get the effect. Every next time is actually might secure some kills. If they do slow them down, I will slow down by the totem for um, the friendly... I'm actually... I'm, I'm going in. I'm going in. Activating, I'm activating my ultimate right here. I'm going to do everything that... Oh, very nice. Ancestral is going to keep the um, the enemy uh, Artanis alive. Oh. Again, friendly team just not collapsing. Um, we... was a 4v5, right? It was indeed. Uh, we were chasing our talents. Um, we should have honestly. We should have just left, right as, um, right as he was ancestral. Uh, for some reason, I stayed. It was my fault. I stayed. I died. Uh, honestly, my fault. We are topping the XP contribution just because we were the only ones actually caring about uh, Soken lanes. <laughs> I mean, that's the case uh, when you uh, when you play. That's actually that's actually the case most of the time when you play a, a quick match. Our throw is fucking. Oh, he might pick up. A, oh my god, he picked up a kill on the enemy treasure. Just a very cheeky kill. Uh, so he's, you know, he's basically gonna secure a trade instead of just, you know, just a straight up kill on the friendly team. Good, very good. I enjoy that. Uh, our tracer. Okay, she's, she's fine. She'll be able to make it out of there, no problem. Very nice. We do pick up a, a, a down at the bottom. We do pick up a keep. Oh, actually, no, that's a four. Keep is down bottom. Uh, down. Uh, that's tier two, right? Are you gonna shoot something or? Uh, I, I don't want to engage. Like I, I engage way too much with my Q, uh, with my E. So I should engage with with my V and you know, spawn some scarabs and then do this because I was slowed by the Earth Grass Totem. Really? I do have my ultimate. If I do get uh, too low. Uh, just gonna keep spawning spots, keep keep spawning scarabs, keep healing myself with you know with that auto attack of the scarabs. Uh, the enemy so the friendly Sonia is under a little bit of a pickle down in the bottom lane. I'm gonna try to do everything that I can to help her out. I do uh, activate my uh, my locust swarm. You can see how much damage I'm just doing. I'm I'm trying to focus down on this leaming. She's she, she's gonna get cleansed, and she's probably gonna survive this. Really? Come on! Shit! Alright, let's back it up. Uh, only with 20, we're gonna go for. Um, actually, Hive Master. Hive Master is gonna allow me. Back it up! What are you guys doing? God damn. I, I just get so frustrated. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm just get so frustrated, so into the game, and they just want to throw it. I'm not even gonna care. I, you're not supposed to be there. We're supposed to. We are level twenty. We are supposed to be doing the objective. They're trying to push a fight under their uh, their fort. Back it up. Uh, right. So we picked up Hive Master at level twenty. What is going to do? <clears throat> it is going to allow us to just spawn this this little like locust that's going to periodically attack an enemy and return actually quite a lot of health back to us. So you know, uh, some more AOE damage, some more um, some more healing. Um, 
I was going to help them, but it looks like they will be just getting out of there. I mean, we should just do this. I'm going to spawn my scallops. You can see the scallops are tanking damage for me. They will be killed by this, uh, by this AOE, <clears throat> AOE slam. Only thing we should just buck it up. <clears throat> we have stamp here on the enemy. Zero two is actually he was body blocked right side of his VP, and he will be taken out by a friendly throw. Honestly, we should just move move it, move right on in with this push. Um, we can definitely do something here. We killed two enemies. I'm gonna activate my Locust Swarm just as you can see how much damage I'm taking and actually sustaining myself, no problem. There, there's my shield going. You can see just the damage I'm able to do along with um, with the uh, with the healing I'm, I'm, I'm able to do as well. That's, that's, yeah, we're we good. Uh, if any of them engage, I do have my E to punish them for it. And honestly, we should just buck it up and do the um, um, the enemy. Not the enemy, but just the objective. Just the overall objective of the map. Honestly, this is going good. Uh, the friendly Sonia is a little bit of trouble. The enemy Rhaegar did overextend for that. I'm just going to try to burrow out right out after him, but it looks like he, we won't be uh, successful in doing so. Uh, we are taking damage for no reason right here from this laser. Hi there. Oh my god, the MLG fucking hit on the Q. Uh, our Tyrande is in a little bit of trouble. She's going to activate uh, her um, uh, sprint. I won't gonna get bloody block, bloody block here, not uh, not allowing us to secure the kill, but he will be able to just secure this. I'm actually gonna go back qu for mana quickly, um, back and objective. We have enough seeds to uh, not turn in, but uh, take grab the terror rather. Um, as the enemy, as the friendly team should be going for this guy, they're pushing bottom. Uh, I'm gonna grab this terror. Mm. And we're gonna start. I'm, I'm actually gonna go top just to clear this, uh, clear this up quickly. Hopefully, this is not too loud for you guys. I'm not speaking like a, like a crazy mofo. And we're gonna boost our speed up, and we're gonna be on our way to the top lane to clear, to clear up this fort. Actually, is that, yeah, that's a fort. Yeah. So those are keeps. Those are forts. Okay. I'm gonna from t from now on. I'm gonna remember. I'm gonna place it right in the middle, just, just so it disables both of the structures. I'm gonna tell you guys this again. Please learn how to use uh, the terrors now. The terror has changed his functionality, uh, its functionality since uh, since the patch, since you know, since you guys probably played the game, since you guys played the video game. Therefore, if you place it now, it is only going to disable the structures and allow the terror itself to deal a little bit more damage. So I'm going to place it right in the middle, so it disables all the structures, just so I don't take the, you know, I, I don't take any damage. I'm going to place it right there, so if they do want to grab it, they have to go around. And the different team is dying right in the middle. Um, is dying right there. And what I'm gonna do? I'm just, I'm just gonna stand. Honestly, I, I don't give a shit about this damage. I'm just gonna throw the polymorph so she has, she has to change her positions. Uh, I, I'm gonna throw it down again, just so you know, just so we disable it again. And honestly, I did everything that I wanted. So what I'm gonna do? Polymorph him, <laughs> he, he uh, limp himself right into the Polymorph. Um, polymorph, come down behind me. Oh shit. I'm gonna die, I'm dead. <laughs> the, the, like, the, I survived against three people for at least 10-15 seconds right there. Still very, very good. I, I kind of failed my burrow. My, my burrow was my only chance of escape, and I burrowed from here to there for some apparent reason, and apparently that wasn't enough. I don't know. <sighs> it was an easy escape. Like, what should I, what I, I should have done is just walked up here and just burrowed over the, the wall, and they would have been able, they would have to go all the way around this motherfucker. I would have just been able to m mount up and just get b right back. Zerto is um, punishing. Actually, sorry, Tracer's punishing Zerto. <gasps> the snipe is almost. Oh my god, he's gonna get it. He's not gonna get it. Oh, he's right there. Yep. 
this throw is going to be dead, I think. Uh, does he have a Sunder? Actually, he's not going to need Sunder. This Li Meng is actually going to be actually in quite a lot of trouble just because our uh, Tracer just going ham and in the motherfuckers. On my way to the top lane to help our friendlies uh, with this with this engage. Uh, it's honestly it's a three v three. When I come up come up there with my CC, I'll just be just crazy. Um, our friendly Tracer is doing quite a lot of work. Uh, our tr throws like he's getting very dangerously low, and he will be taken out. Um, but uh, Zerto is in, in, in the area, so we should just bail. She definitely just bailed. Looks like our friendly Sonya is pushing her down in the bottom lane. New meta, uh, split push Sonya, and we're just gonna start grabbing some more seeds. We're gonna get rooted, but my shields are going to nullify the damage, therefore, we will be fine. There you go. We are dealing some crazy amounts of damage, I do believe. Yeah. Okay, my way. I can do that. I like the better barbs. It's not too bad. I mean, it, it kind of gives you a slow right after, um, uh, right after you actually you stun somebody, which is pretty good. You, and you and then you they also added you know they also added like she, an actually AOE right now, so you know you don't have to actually give up the burning rage you know burning rage effect on the like for the wave clear. Still super good. I still very 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 enjoy it. Might not be the you know might not be the best just because you still have to wait uh, twelve seconds in order to you know to recast it. Nah, I don't hate it. I don't like it. You know, it's not the best, but it's not the worst definitely. Whoa! Whoa! He just flew up right, right right up there in the air. This is a bad engage. We should not be engaging into this. I'm gonna throw them right up in the air. Enemy tracer very very far into our friendly back line we're just gonna engage i guess activating my ultimate right here i'm actually going just to follow the, the enemy team um there's a stun on the enemy Li meng unless i'm just trying to stay close to them just so my uh, locust uh, swarm can do the most and honestly we should be just just fo focusing on kind of getting a kill right here on the enemy team right here uh, can we get a stun yes there's a stun on the enemy tracer is going to secure a kill on her and honestly this is our chance to finish this game this is our chance to finish this game, and I just go stasis. Again, just spawning as many scarabs as I as I possibly can. Are you serious? GG. Actually, over the last two minutes, I did about twenty thousand damage just alone right there, just because I had forty thousand, and now I have sixty thousand. Yo, maths. <laughs> uh, I'm tired, man. It's actually very light, late right now. I don't, I don't know what the time, what the actual time is right now. But I think we did our best to explain this build a little bit. It used to be my favorite build just because it was like kind of like the only viable build. We actually did fucking shit ton of XP contribution just because we grabbed that terror at, at a really vital time, and the friendly team did take enough attention away from us so we were able to actually push up up almost up on yeah actually up until the core we did kill the enemy keep fort and the keep and then mm, let's see i'm gonna go over the build again honestly it's a very straightforward build one of the easier ones in the entire game to pull off <laughs> excuse me only the one that you go for assault scarabs this used to be 25 percent now it's a 30 percent increase therefore also giving you some more healing you know with your leeching scarabs it's, it's a tiny amount but always counts. So more uh, more damage on your scarabs. Level four we went for legions beetles. This 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 just is unchanged. But again, it just makes the beetles that more that, that much better. You're gonna be spawning them more, and you can you know you can do a soul scarab shit. You know they they just deal with that much that much damage. Therefore, it just synergizes with the entire build. This you know this this buff. Legion beetles periodically every eight seconds you're gonna spawn a beetle. Level 7, you're going to get 50% of the damage dealt by the beetles back. I think this hasn't been buffed. I think this stayed as it was. It's still 50. Don't call me on that. I don't remember the original number. Uh, but I do remember it used to heal you uh, heal you uh, as well. Level 10, we went for Locust Needles. Giving us some more survivability. Actually, you, you saw there. If I was in the middle of a wave, 
you know, of minions plus enemy heroes, I was just healing for a shit ton of, uh, just because it's every single enemy around you in that very, very hefty radius. A level 13, we did go for Bed of Barbs, which is a try, try out, and it didn't turn out that bad. You know, for 3.5 seconds, you're going to be slowing enemies and dealing some damage. So it's actually quite substantial to draw a slow because it's this 30% slow. Therefore, um, yeah, super good. Level 16, you go for Beetle Just every, every single, every third, sorry, not single, every third basic attack against enemy heroes spawns a Beetle. It doesn't have to be the same hero, doesn't have to be, th you know, three hits on the, on the hero, um, before you hit a minion. No, it's just every third attack on any enemy hero will give you a, a Beetle. Just super good. This is to be, this is to be, uh, allowed, like, Beetles to level up once after they killed an enemy. Be, be it uh, a minion or a hero, and then they will get like more damage, but it wouldn't actually refresh their duration. It was weird. It was really bad. Uh, so you, I think like the the other option here was like spell shield. If I don't, mis if I'm not mistaken, was it spell shield or something else? I, I think it was. Oh, I was thinking it was imposing presence. They 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 took it. They took that away from him. And in level twenty, we did go for hive master. Uh, that kind of just gives us. Uh, doesn't actually improve. The um, it doesn't actually improve the the actual locust swarm at all, but it gives us uh, gain the permanent vampire locust that attacks a nearby enemy um, every five every sorry every three seconds. This guy deals 150 damage when you pick it up. That's just nuts damage. Very very good damage, and returns about uh, one fifth of what you deal about. No, it's roughly uh, one fifth of what you deal as a heal. Super good build. I really enjoyed it, guys. Hopefully you did too. If you did, so uh, leave a like rating. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Again, leave me feedback. I'm really open to feedback. Any feedback, you know. My commentary sucks. I'm too monotonous. I'm good. You know, I played better than I did before. Anything, anything you guys want me, you, you guys want me to tell, go down to the to the description. Also, check out my Facebook. I just started to kind of like um, branch out a little more into Facebook. I started reading. This a very very good book. If you guys haven't, uh, if you guys want to get into social media, Gary, Gary Vaynerchuk is your guy. And I'm, I'm just, just gonna start stop talking and see you guys later. Peace on the motherfucking streets, boy.